I was floored by what we discovered. At a time when we should be trying, we have to shore up programs that are threatened by default Medicare, Social Security, Medicaid. This health care law adds an entirely new obligation. That's Senator Jeff Sessions, the ranking member of the Senate Budget Committee. He was announcing to the entire Senate that the Republican committee staff had just discovered trillions of dollars, that's right, I said trillions of dollars in hidden costs within Obamacare. And I guarantee you, you'll be as shocked as the senator and his budget committee staff were when we go through some of these numbers. Let's do that right now. First, President Obama, you'll recall, told us all that his health care law would cost $900 billion. And that number, of course, was to keep it under a trillion. He did so. But Obamacare was still, nonetheless, uh, a, little, a little pricey, even at that. $900 billion. And then along comes the Congressional Budget Office, which suggested to us what many of us had expected, and that was that that wasn't quite adequate. Uh, and two weeks ago, the Congressional Budget Office informed us that the administration had missed its projection slightly. The new projection is $1.76 billion. That is $1 trillion. $1,760,000,000,000. That's almost double, obviously, what the White House had projected originally. Now. Two weeks later, we've just heard Senator Jeff Session reveal what the Budget Committee, the Republican Budget Committee staff, had learned. Projecting the cost over the next decade, not at 900, not at 1.76 uh, trillion dollars, uh, but instead 2.6 trillion or 2,600 billion dollars almost three times the original budget. But as bad as that is, that is not where the bad news ends. That's because Senator Sessions and his staff discovered that the law, Obamacare, contains as well long-hidden, long-term, unfunded liabilities that amount to $17 trillion. $17 trillion in unfunded, unfunded liabilities. Now, all of, all of this all of this is perhaps explainable by simple, you know, maybe the Republicans came up with a new formula. Maybe someone introduced new numbers. Senator Sessions told me this afternoon that this is actually a modest estimate because the Republican Budget Committee staff based its analysis and projections on the Obama administration's own optimistic assumptions and their own numbers. When combined with existing Medicare and Medicaid funding shortfalls, Obamacare is actually projected to leave taxpayers on the hook for what will be over the course of 75 years an extra 82, let's just change this right now, 82 trillion dollars. The national debt is already set to go over the 16 trillion dollar debt limit within the year, including what will be 5 trillion dollars more of deficits run up by this administration by this fall. This is a debtor nation in perpetuity unless we come to terms with this entitlement as well as Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And there is nothing ideological in that statement. It is just plain, simple, straightforward fact that both parties have to confront.